I mean, the self is the collective product, really, of all the stories that we've, we've be, that others have told about us, that we tell ourselves, uh, and and then hold them as absolute when, in fact, they're not at all. They're things that have been constructed. Uh, they don't hold any absolute reality at all. They're mental models. And it's a realization that people have under psychedelics. It's a construction, it's a model. Well, and what's curious is that arguably the dominant model of how the brain works uh, that dominates human neuroscience today uh, says that the brain uh, doesn't just model the self, it models everything. Granted, all the time we're updating those models of reality and finessing them and making them pretty good, you know, pretty reliable. But what you see under psychedelics is those models uh, collapse. These models of ourselves and of the world, particularly these high-level models, um, uh, can often go awry. And so we might have a depiction, a representation of ourselves that's overly negative. There's a what we call a pessimism bias. We see ourselves and everything in this very pessimistic way in a depression, for example. Um, and so what uh, psychedelics uh, can, can give us is an opportunity to break down that bias, that biased model, that model that's gone awry. Uh, and, and in so doing, allow us to step outside of it and then take a, like an observer's perspective at it and think, why was I thinking I'm worthless? You know, I'm, I'm, part, I'm a child of nature. Um, uh, I have the same value as, as, as anything else. Um, uh, and, and the self-compassion that can come with that realization. So after people come down from the psychedelic, let's say we give it to someone with a severe depression, it's very, very important that we provide some kind of integration. And so what is that? Often it's just listening and put shame and, and those kind of things to one side and have that very, um, you know, um, pure uh, uh, empathy that you can get with a, a good therapist and that kind of trusting relationship. I mean, that's, that's probably the fundamental. But what can also work well, it seems, is, is sharing in a group context as well. So we've got some data that's supporting that. And that's interesting because it's a little bit of a reminder that we're not doing something new here, you know. This has been done for thousands of years in, in certain cultures. Yeah.